Greetings. We're here along the middle fork of the Smith River, taking in the first sunny morning in almost a week. Had a lot of rain, been cooped up inside, and finally the skies cleared and the sun came out and just decided to get out and move a little bit. Found my way down next to the river, this really deep hole. And it just started to get serene and I started to mellow out. I'm just looking at how beautiful this whole little scene is. In summer, the river itself would be all lit up and you could see right to the bottom, but the sort of inky darkness is rather mysterious in itself. It's crystal clear water, but looks like it goes on forever. The banks are coated with these just mad selections of any green you can think of. There's cedars and five-finger ferns and moss and grasses and all sorts of stuff. There's cedars and madrones and berry bushes and maples and firs. sort of reminded me of a moment I had in the Strawberry Wilderness, Strawberry Mountain Wilderness, where everything just sort of, everywhere I look, like, look at this. The whole frame is just shimmering, hallucinatory colors. Just find myself getting lost in it. And of course, just the doppled light coming in through the tops of the trees on the bank across the river. And I'm looking up and seeing the peak of this rugged escarpment up there of the serpentine landscape eroding away. These old cedars, overhanging snag. Of course these moss covered banks and rocks are just ah. Oh. Look at that uh, there's a little crayfish claw for you. You know and there's even these little trickles of water Little reflecting pools. You know, there's the, the trees above us, the sky. I found myself staring at that. My gosh. After we've been staring at the four walls of the trailer for days on end, this is just a magical sight, you know. The sound of the trickle. You may hear the thundering of traffic. We are next to a highway, but little trickles of water. Oh, they're beautiful. The leaves of fall. I mean, it's just, you know, now if you're a photographer, like I used to be, this place is just about a, an outdoor photographer's paradise. You could spend a lifetime out here and Especially those of you who are coming up in the digital world. I came up in the film world, so we had to pick and choose what we shot out here. But with the digital, my goodness. I need to fill up terabytes of <laughs> raw image files of some of these stunning landscapes. Everything's wet and green. The river's risen up several feet after all this rain. And so it's... It's definitely worth it to take a few minutes and appreciate even the little things in front of you from the, the drippings of the moss covered ferns the reflections on the water and the turning fall colors even if it's in just your own backyard like this is for many people there's a car in the parking lot that actually had the license plate was the name of the nearest town. Couldn't believe it. Customized license plate. Even the locals are getting out and appreciating this, so I recommend, you know, get outside. You're not going to be able to appreciate the sounds and the smells and that incredibly healthy fresh air cooped up inside that house. 
but I'm gonna shut up and sit down and enjoy this for a while and take in every last detail of it. And I thank you for joining me for five or so minutes of enjoying some of the details of it. Here in fall in Northwest California along the middle fork of the Smith River. And of course, being this late in the year, the ants are all away. So after the ants have gone to bed, we can enjoy the wilderness ant-free and the outdoors ant-free. That's lovely. <laughs>